with another banker. banker. Turn it up. What's up? What's up, Salon? So, uh, we got two double bays going to Atlanta this weekend. Um, we had a long, long winter or whatever. I hadn't really been able to put out no videos or whatnot. And I realized I started focusing more on the videos than I was the actual content. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, what I'm going to try to do, I, my mic broke, all that. So, we just going to take it back to how we used to do it. Appreciate y'all for watching. People ask me sometimes, like, what inspires me? You know, what inspires me to keep going forward or, or what's my, my motivator? You know, and I, I really feel like, for me, I get inspired by people. Like, I want you to do great because I want you to motivate me to do better. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it is kind of a selfish reason to want to see other people succeed. But I, I honestly feel like as I see people grow and as I meet different people and, and understand how their growth is, I need to get on my A game when I see other people around me on the A game. get up just like everybody else. Put my shoes and clothes on just like everybody else. I'm also discouraged at times just like everybody else. I get unmotivated at times. And when I wake up and I realize that this day that I woke up is another opportunity to do better than I did yesterday. To treat people better. To take heed of the opportunities presented in front of me. So that's why I try to keep be optimistic about the day to day, you know, and I have gotten further and further away from planning too far down the line. So I just finished up my divider. Uh, each East Double Bay is gonna have one, two, three, it's gonna have three dividers in the back. So I, I just finished up eight of them. Uh, about to move on to the doors, you know, front panel and the doors or whatever. Knock that out, that should take me about an hour to knock out both of them. You make that plan, you tell yourself what you need to do to get to your goal. And then you break it down into as small a piece as you can. Sometimes my failures make me feel like my whole past and goal means nothing. But then I think about it, I got to break it down. Sometimes I got to break it down minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, week by week, month by month. As it as as life throws it at me, I just got to be prepared for it's not always going to be easy. With another banker, turn it up.
gonna try to get this delivery to Atlanta knocked out. Uh, we actually had a delivery Sunday. Today is Friday, but we gotta get everything prepared and loaded, as well as we consistently have dogs that are uh, either coming or going. So we're back and forth to the vet, getting dogs checked out, and we have other uh, property as well as family that we, you know, have a lot going on. So can't always work back to back to back to get people orders done and whatnot. But I do get orders out on the time that I give. Uh, a lot of the work is custom. I feel like I try to do as good a job as I can and keep the quality control uh, as good as I can, you know, so that's why I don't have a lot of people around me, you know, building or whatnot, because I want to make sure that every step of the project is done to the standard that I want to be done. All right, so we didn't finished up our dividers. We finished up our front and our doors or whatnot. So right now we're gonna go ahead and try to jump into building the decks. Uh, I probably got about a good 20, 30 minutes worth of time tonight to try to get some stuff done. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock out the decks or at least get all my cuts done and staging done. So when I come in tomorrow, I can knock that out, knock the roofs out, get it loaded and get ready for the road. Turn it up. So a lot of y'all, I'm sure, are running your own businesses and y'all are wondering how to keep yourself motivated, how to keep yourself focused. Uh, I know a lot of people during the pandemic found something that they really enjoyed doing. When the pandemic was over, they had to get back to work. They trying to find the energy to get back to, to doing the thing they love because they went back to work. And one thing that I, I honestly do for myself to try to keep myself motivated is uh, I read a long time ago, if you just do three seconds, if you tell yourself, hey, I'm just gonna knock out three seconds of this job, this project, uh, this experience, whatever I gotta do, do three seconds of it. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna do more than three seconds of it. You know what I'm saying? Because the hardest part is actually pushing yourself and getting yourself motivated to do it. 